Hello everybody, I'm Palkia508 and welcome back to Tales of Eternia. Last time we barely defeated the Greater Kramal, Undini. And now we don't really know what to do. But you can see I backtracked a little bit. I could have done this last time, but really I needed to calm down. So let's just go up here and there will be a cutscene. This place looks safe and the air seems really nice. Yeah, what about it? Why don't we take a little break here? That doesn't sound like a bad idea. You lazy bums, we don't need no break. We go save the world! Hey, Kiel, how many greater cranes are there? I'm not quite sure. But it's said that there are generally four main types. I'm not entirely sure. Water, fire, and wind, the three basic cranes, and the light crane, which unifies them all. Hmm. And where are the other greater cranes besides Undini? Undini didn't tell us. The planes of existence for humans and cranes differ. Just for them to appear in front of humans is an extraordinary event. And still, she did for us. Well, that's convenient, what you say? Wow. Really? Hey, for our next destination, why don't we head for Inferia? Hmm, that's actually not a bad idea, Reed. Inferia? You mean the King's Castle? Yeah, gathering all the Kramels is way beyond our abilities. There isn't much more we can do other than inform the king about the Grand Fall. Am I wrong? Read with the bright idea? No way! What's happening? But we established a pact with Undini all on our own. That was just plain luck. We can't afford any mistakes. We've got to know our limits. That's true. We do have an obligation to report this to the king. Kiel? Imagine the consequences of seeking the greater cranes without the king's permission. Yeah, even though we we're trying to save the world, damn, we would get punished bad. We might attract needless suspicion. I see your point. It's decided then. Our next destination is Inferia City. What about the Greater Criminals? We just talked about it. God. Don't worry. Once the king learns of the Grand Fall, he'll mobilize the army and find all the Greater Criminals. Sounds easy enough. Too easy. Meridi, have faith in our king, okay? Okay, so now we actually have somewhere to go. You have to go through the Forest of Temptation <sighs> to get to Inferior City. Go southeast along the river. It's across the bridge. Yeah, I think we saw that bridge on our way here. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go back to Morley and I'm gonna stock up on items. And I will meet you guys back at the bridge. Just go from Morley to the Unduni stream and you will see the bridge. And if you're playing along, I highly recommend that you do the same. Go back to Morley and stock up on items. Because what awaits us is not fun if you're not prepared. So, I will see you guys at the bridge. Okay, we are back. And this is the bridge they were talking about. The Undini stream is right over there and Morley is right over there. So, let's just go into the forest. Hopefully, yeah, no battles, thank you. <laughs> Would surprise me at all if I got thrown into one. Phew, this place is kind of creepy. Yeah, this place is actually very creepy, and the music really doesn't help. The only way to get to Inferior City is by going through this forest, since commoners aren't allowed to board a royal ship. That's insanely mean. Okay. 
So, welcome to probably the most hated dungeon in this game. Or at least one of them. For good reasons, though. And also one of the scariest. This place is legendary. Dang it. Yeah, yay, they got Grim Reapers in here. How cool isn't that? I'm scared already. Oh, there's the spread spell, too. Yeah, pretty good. Huge pillar of water pops up. Ow! Oh, damn you, creep, uh, creep reaper! No, no spells! Wow! First battle in here, and I get kicked. Not cool. And as, we, as you saw there, Undini leveled up. Right now, Undini is actually level three, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, this dungeon is a huge maze. If you don't know where to go, and or if you don't have a map. You will be stuck here for a while. Anyway, we got some new weapons for Farah here. Iron Arms. I just love the huge boost in attack that Farah get when you get new weapons for her. I know it's because we don't really get weapons for her that often, but still, it's awesome to see. We also got the Talisman from Undini and that Mental Bracelet. Defeat an enemy to recover 3% of TP. I gotta give that to Reed actually, since he's the one who is attacking. So yeah, if you get lost in this place, don't worry, you're not alone, R believe me. My first time through here, yeah, my uh, pride usually says do not use guides first time through a game. Well, I didn't, and I got stuck here, and I was stuck in here for over two days. I'm not kidding. That was not fun. When I finally got out, I was level 32. Ooh, a silk cloak. Yeah! That's a little bit too much. Okay, we already got a silk cloak from Meredy, so Farah, there you go. Now, we want to go up here. We don't need to go here. I know this statue looks very important. The path will be revealed when the opposing statues face each other. Huh? What does it mean? Hmm, why don't we try moving the statues? Eh? I won't move. How do we move it? Yeah, how do we? How do we? This statue appears to be the great deity. Yeah, I know, we already saw that. Come on. So, what? should we do here? Well, first of all, check here. For another lens. You do not want to miss this one, because you do not want to come back here. Ever. Oh, there's battles here too. Ghouls. I think we've seen these guys, but yeah, they're not that bad anyway. So. Did he just throw his arm at me? Huh. Oh well. Interesting. <laughs> I don't really understand why this place is called the Forest of Temptation, though. I would not be tempted going in here, and I won't really say that the enemies are very tempting either. So, yep, yeah, I don't really understand. Oh well. Oh, treasure. Give me a misty robe. Cool. That would be for Keel. Please be better in defense. Thank you. He will lose his luck and evade, but I don't care. Defense is good for Keel. Uh. Yeah, okay. Where are we now, anyway? God. I do not have a map, by the way, so uh, I might get stuck in here. Oh, these Grim Reapers. Do not touch them. I believe they will take your HP away. The Deity of Confusion. Dance, Deity, dance! Dance, Deity, dance! Okay, whatever. We want this guy to be facing right. Now that's the gimmick of the first half of this dungeon. You have to put these statues in the right direction. And yes, I said the first half. No, go away! Do not suck me! Thank you. Oh, I hate those green reapers. God. Life bottle, nice. Now up here is another deity statue. But it's already standing in the right direction, so do not touch it. Ah, okay, let's see. Treasure, a lot of life bottle, okay, I'll take that. 
And I believe... Yes, okay. This water will refill your HP. But of course, not your TP. Why do they do that all the time in this game? It's a little bit annoying, really. Ooh, treasure. I'll take treasure. A holy bottle. Thank you. I will need that. Let's go over here. The deity of order. I will get a syrup, bo syrup bottle. What did that do again? I can't really remember. <laughs> Protect against... All oh, right. It's like a panacea bottle. And it, you will use it and it will protect you through the whole battle. But it will also reduce your attack. Now, this guy you don't want to touch at all. He is already staying in the right direction. So, they are... They're kind of nice, I guess, to us, that the deities, is, some of them at least, are standing in the right direction already. But believe me, it's gonna get worse. Here we get a flare bottle. Remember these? Up your attack by 20%. Oh yeah, but here they also reduce defense by 20 or oh, 30%. Wow. I believe they didn't do that in Fantasia. Did they? I can't really remember. Okay, this guy we want to face... Yeah, left. <laughs> the forest path has opened. Okay, uh, man, those Green Reapers are not fun at all. But where do we go now? They just told us that the forest path had opened. But where's the forest path? You would think that it was back where the those... Or the room with all the statues, but actually, it's not. Oh, right. Quick, quee! Quicky, come back! Of course, and Mario runs away again. Oh, I swear. So we have to. Wait, haven't I been here? Okay. Iron Wrist. Well, I'll give that to. Merody. Okay, uh, when she comes back. <laughs> Whoops, I kind of forgot about this little path here. 400 gold, I'll take that. There, the, there you are, you stupid little... Yeah, quick wee! We can go further from here. Yeah, this is where the forest path opened. If you went over here... If you went over here before, you wouldn't be able to do anything. The air here is so pure. It looks like a rest area. Well, that's convenient. L let's say we rest here. The place looks to be safe. All right. Say, Meridi, if we somehow gather all the greater Kramals, what do we do then? Damn, the airings doesn't work anymore. Return to Celestia. Oh. Never mind. To Celestia? How? I do not know. Yeah, of course you don't. It sounds as though that may be a bigger hurdle than gathering all the greater criminals. Really? If that's true, how did you come to Inferia? The two worlds have been out of contact for 2,000 years. I came on a criminal craft. It can fly in the sky. AKA UFO. That's nonsense. Kind of technology is impossible. And still we almost got killed by it. Maybe you've never heard of it, but we saw it with our own eyes. It was flying, but then it crashed. It is true. Then take me to the crash site. I can't believe it unless I see it myself. I am not going back now. We're halfway through this place. Well, Keel. I really want to show it to you, but for an object to levitate, oh boy. does it use there we go. cranial placement or maybe artificial rotary distortion? No, no, that would create a problem with the conservatism principle. Kill. Um, I don't want to disappoint you, but well, let me first see the craft. After I measure the cranial density in the area, I should be able to derive a hypothesis. Might get pretty hard for us to get there, though, since we got banished by the racist mayor. Well, where's it at? Back home. We can't get there anymore. Impossible! Cranial craft explode 
into many, many pieces. Oh, and that. <laughs> I kind of forgot about that. No. It's true. Reed and I were there. It was pretty scary. It can't be destroyed. A flying machine? A revolutionary technology? Well, I'm sure we'll find something to get us to Celestia. Yeah, no problem. And how do you propose we do that, Farah? Guess she doesn't have anything. God. Mm. Quick, quick, a cook chew. Sorry, I just had to. The air feels unsafe. What? I can't feel anything. It's cold. The forest is where all the lost souls gather. Oh, that's. That's nice! Dead people, huh? If you're not careful, spirits hungry for a body could drain your life dry. Thank you, Keel! We really needed those nightmares. Th don't scare us like that! <laughs> no problem! Monster, pirate, whatever. I'll take them all on! Pirate? Where did you get pirate from? Oh boy, Farah, you're kinda stupid. Anyway though, as I said before this, now I think we're we're about halfway done with this place. Kinda, kinda not. So I think it's a good place to stop. So next time, we will finish the Forest of Temptation. It might be a little longer than usual, but I really want to get this place done with. So, I'm Palkifano8, I thank you all for watching, and I see you all later.